Hello there, Pisces. It's me, Lex, and welcome to your monthly general reading. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content or go live. Also, if you would like to reach me directly for coaching, for readings, for um, courses, or um, to visit the shop, the link to my website is in the description below. Now, just one real quick announcement before we get into your reading. This month's community working is a prosperity working. That's to promote um, wealth, health, abundance, and fertility. If you're interested, please visit the community tab on my YouTube channel. You have until April 15th to sign up for that, okay? So I've already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards. I will go through them in the order that they came out and then rearrange and clarify as necessary, okay? So first out, we have the Four of Fire. We have Awakening, the Emperor, Three of Water, Knight of Air, and Two of Air. Crown of the overall energy of your reading, we have Nine of Fire, okay? This says, don't give up, protect that which you have created, have courage, and believe in yourself, okay? It's, it's the standstill. That's got you messed up. OK, I do feel that overall, a lot of things are very steady and stable and balanced, but you're not seeing the movement and the growth that you were anticipating. OK, it is telling you to um, look at things from a different perspective. OK, um, with the two of air saying um, unable or unwilling to make a decision, pretending there is no problem. So there is definitely something going on that needs your attention. But it's telling you it is important to be yourself and stay true to you through the temporary standstill, okay? Don't give up on yourself. Believe in yourself. Listen to your intuition, it says, to clarify that main point a little bit deeper. And also, we have perfect timing, okay? So, you may not be seeing the, the movement you want, but I do feel that with structured discipline, staying consistent with all your dealings, okay? I do feel that things will start to move a little bit quicker. You could be involved with an Aries here. We have um, air on the table. Okay. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could be involved with romantically or a business partner, contented family life. Some of you I see will be getting married soon or having a child, but something that would require um, or that would warrant a celebration. OK, with this four of fire and this three of water, definitely a reason to celebrate very soon. And maybe that's what you're worried about is that it's not going to happen, but I feel it is. OK, let's get some um, let's put some tarot on that to clarify further. Have six of Wands, King of Cups. It's definitely going to be victory when it comes to your um, emotional and your financial life. Okay, love and finances. We have King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Okay, you could be involved with an Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo. This could be you. Your energy coming through this water or fellow water sign, um, another Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. All right, but this is. Very balanced energy. The two of you at the, are at the top of your game. If this is love, if this is business, you will be in partnership with a, either a fellow water sign or an earth sign, getting advice from them, getting ideas from them. Whatever you are planning is going to be a success. OK, now what I'm going to do here is pull a life purpose oracle message for you. And these oracle messages are advice on how to move forward. Life purpose oracle says books. You connect with your life purpose through your involvement with books. We have artists engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and other area of your life. You could be learning a new trade. You could be in school. 
new field of study. You may be learning a new method in which to do something. Those are my artists out there. There's always new techniques and technologies out there to help you with whatever you are trying to achieve. So make sure that you are staying on top of the latest um, trends and uh, resources out there. All right. So we're going to move into the love section of this reading. Specifically, we are asking for any of the advice or what to expect as it relates to love, Pisces. OK, All right. Pisces and love. Pisces and love. All right, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Past life, you have known each other before. This could be the one you're, you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, okay I got multiple things coming through. On one hand, some of you are not being honest or your partner's not being honest with you about wanting children or wanting more children or to start a family. Somebody could also possibly be hiding a child that they have with someone else from their past. That's one group of Pisces. Other groups of you, you may realize that a person from your past or someone that you have known may not necessarily have been romantically involved with them, but you realize that this person you have met before could be a potential romantic partner, okay? And you're not being honest with yourself about opening up to the potential of that person being your um, your potential mate, okay? It says you've already met your romantic partner. Some of you are having... Those of you who are already coupled up and possibly married and have children together are arguing over the children how to do something. OK, there's a conflict on how to do things and how things should be done when it comes to the children. And, and someone isn't being completely honest about what they're doing or not doing as it relates to that. OK. Let's get an angel answer on this situation. Pisces and love. Romance. That and a damn argument, won't it? <laughs> we have romance and eight of cups, two swords. If you are in a drought, you need to go on out there and get you some. All right. Go get you some. All right. Turn on the romance. It's, it's been long enough. It's, it's time to go on and move forward with that. Whatever y'all argue about, let it go and bring back the romance. OK, Pisces. Now, to wrap this up, I'm going to pull an Archangel Oracle message. Last little tidbit of advice to close you out. Pisces. We have all is well. Everything is happening exactly how it is supposed to with hidden blessings that you will soon understand. So whatever y'all are arguing about, you're going to realize very soon that it's not even worth damn fighting over. OK, and it wasn't worth you worrying about. All right, Pisces, that is your general reading. If this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up comment below share it with the fellow piscean you feel could use the message also to reach me directly go through the website the link is in the description below and to sign up for that prosperity community working you can do that on the community tab through youtube any questions directed to the website all right so until next time pisces i love you take care